The cleanup in Tyler continues. It's crazy. It's awful. It's so we get calls with trees on roofs and trees over and like blown over in people's yards. It's been a busy week for Landon Castle and his colleagues at Allied Tree Services. We prioritize the ones on people's roofs and on people's cars because they got to be able to do stuff. And it's the same scene in pockets all across the city. Huge trees that toppled over homes and businesses being cut up and cleared out the way. We really do appreciate them all coming out, working hard and working day and night. We just want to show our appreciation and make sure everyone knows that they've kind of been out here since the first storm, just constantly picking everything up and making sure we can get everybody's power back on and running. As you can see, places like Lindsay Park is pretty clear for the most part. They've seen a significant difference in the turnaround when it comes to the storm cleanup these past few days. We've been really blessed that a lot of uh, tree crews have come into town and uh, we're inundated. You can't go anywhere in the city and not see the big white trucks driving around. And we're very appreciative of them being here to help us out until we can get back to some sense of normal. In addition to the pros, volunteers are stepping up to help too. Hats off to Tyler. Tyler is one of those cities that reach out and if someone's helping us and even if they're not, they reach out to help every way they can. With many of these resources available to community members and workers, the city acts that you do your part and report personal property damages to the Texas Division of Emergency Management through the ISTAT Damage Surveys Texas.gov. In Tyler, Ayana Aird, CBS 19.